Yeah, at the moment it's on battery. Oh, okay. But it can run on power. Oh, okay. And you get um, three bobbins. Oh, okay. This is a bobbin. Oh, oh, yeah. So when this is full up, okay. I do another one full up and then I apply them both together. Oh. So that's why you get three bobbins. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And when you apply, you go the opposite way, goes the other way. And there's a switch here. Oh. Oh, yep. For how fast you want to go, you know, this can go really, really fast or really slow. Okay. So, and either backwards or forwards. One way is uh, spinning and the other way is flying. Oh. When you're putting two together, yeah, oh. so it goes the opposite way. Yeah. Oh. This one's not for sale, it's a demonstration today. Oh, yeah, okay. This is called an Ashford. Oh. Probably, we've got it on there. Yeah. And it's called an e-spinner for electric. What I'm spinning here, yep. this is uh, merino and silk together. Oh, yeah. yeah so it's oh. this. Okay. Yeah. You want to feel? Feel. It's okay. Soft. Yeah, Beautiful, is, yeah. Yep, yep. Do it at home and take it to a club because oh, oh. we're in this club. Oh, oh okay. Oh, you can make like this. Yeah, make all of this and all of that. And that one there is manual. Pedal, there. Pedal, want you to spin, Mark. Pardon? Want you to spin. I am happy to be able to. I might get some fibre that's very good for spinning. Especially. Is this what you need? Furry, 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 Pedaling with my two pedals oh, to okay. turn the wheel, and then I'm gathering up twists in this area here. The twists, oh, yep. and then I pull, I bring out some fibre and I slide my finger back. As oh. I slide my finger back, yep. the twists go into that space oh. and they. Twist the fibre. Yeah. So I'm pulling some fibre out and letting the twist move up. Oh. And when I let the twist move up, I let it go on, onto the bobbin. Oh, yeah. And then I pull out another bit. Oh. When I've got two bobbins, yep. I will apply them together to make a strong yarn like that. Oh, yeah, same like this. And at the moment, I've just got natural wool from oh. the sheep's fleece. Oh, from the sheep. Oh. From the sheep fleece, not the alpaca. Oh, okay. Alpaca is a little bit more difficult to spin. Mm. But with the wool, just pulling out, letting it slide up. If I want it to be thin, I just pull out a few. There it is thin. Want to be thicker? Oh. Pull out more. Oh, okay. So I'm going to spin that. Pull out some more. Mm. Pull out some more. And there it is. Yeah. It on. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Very simple. Very natural. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Have you seen? Lou at the other end, she has a little electric one. Oh, the other end? Yes. Oh, yeah. That is Lou. Oh, okay. It's one like that, but it is very small. Very small. Oh, yeah. Is she knitting at the moment? Oh, yeah. You okay. could ask her if she could show you. Let's 
way too big for what I need. I mean, I, I just use a, normally use a tiny one, but I've loaned it to somebody else. So. Oh, okay. So this is from in America, the US machine. Yeah. Um, designed by an engineer whose wife spun. Oh, oh okay. And it's, his plan is to make affordable spinning equipment for people. Oh, um, okay. And uh, and this is my travel. I don't normally spin on it on a day to day basis, but it's a travel. Um, my travel wheel. So when I fly or catch a train or go on long road trips, yep. I usually take this equipment. Okay. You certainly get a, um, attention from the air stewards when you, um, when you uh, start spinning wool during the flight. Uh, they all know what you're doing. So for a, it's a very affordable way to start to, to start a hobby. Mm. It's not overly expensive. Okay. Do you know someone who spins or do you know someone who spins? Mm -hmm. Do you know? No. 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 And that, and what Margaret's doing in the middle, oh, that's yeah? how we all start at an old, but my wooden one is 1970s. So oh. um, I bought that when I first started. And then because I go to the club three times a week, you lug it down there and lug it back. Yeah, okay. um, I progressed to something like this. So now I just take this down and it all, it all comes in a bag like that. Oh yeah. The fleece in there for the day and everything I need. And I go down there and I'm not, I'm not loading up my car and lugging it down. Lugging it down. Yeah, um, it's very soothing and meditative. So it's like, um, for me, it's like meditation because it's rhythmical and, and also if I, watch television or do something like that I don't um, I, I like to keep my hands busy I can't just sit there and stare at things mm -hmm. so this this I find um, very very easy to do okay and normally I just have to sit there and this is a bit tricky this stuff I, sheep's wool is easier um, normally I can sit there and not even look at it and just be watching TV or chatting or whatever and a couple of times I've fallen asleep while I've uh, done it. So, yeah. Normally I'm in an armchair with my feet up and I just do it. Whereas I find when you have to pedal you sort of have to sit up and uh, whereas yeah. this way I'm sort of lazing back in the chair it's very relaxing. So how long are you doing this? 18 months. Huh? 18 months. 18 a year months. and a half. Not oh, long. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the ladies here have been doing it for years and years and years. Okay, so, okay. not I'm just a newcomer. It's a, in Lang Warren, McClellan Spinners and Weavers. Oh, and okay. we um, we meet a couple of times a week and we knit and we crochet and we spin and weave. Oh. And we also like new members because we're only a small club. So we're here to promote our craft and our club. Oh, yeah. And if we can sell something, yeah, great. You know. To show people what you can make, and yeah, it okay. takes a long time. You know, it's a lot. Of, a lot of people prefer to just go and buy a scarf or a shawl or whatever. But some people like the idea of making it themselves. Mm. So this one here, yep. This was white wool from a sheep, oh, yeah. right? So I washed it and cleaned it and carded it, and then I dyed it oh, and you I spun it. Oh. And now I'm knitting it into a scarf. And if you want to feel it, it's quite very soft. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's beautiful. It's good. It's merino wool for around your neck, very close oh, to the skin. Whereas other wool is uh, stronger and it's um, for jumpers and uh, socks and not not fur. But when you want stuff next to your skin, you want alpaca or you want um, um, merino or silk. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, have a good day. Bye bye. Bye.